Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and today I have a video on discoid lupus. But there's a catch. So on this video I would like you guys who have discoid lupus or have had experience with it in the comments below I want you to share your personal experience. Share what it's been like for you, what you've done to treat it, what helps, all of that because I've been getting a lot of questions about discoid lupus and I have SLE. So I have a different form of lupus and I, I don't know the facts on it. I, I know what discoid is and what it can look like and things like that, but I don't know all the details or what helps. So this is where you guys come in. This is why we have this community. I want you guys to share all your experiences and hopefully when that person comes to me, I can just send them to the video and tell them to look at the comments. And I know you guys do a great job at that, so thank you. The next thing I want to say is please support me by subscribing if you haven't already, turning on those notifications, hitting that like button, and just showing the love because I've been doing this for eight years, guys, and sometimes it's hard to get content out, but seeing how you guys interact with me and that you love my content, it makes me keep doing more. So I really appreciate that. And don't forget to follow my social media sites as well. Live Hope Fitness is my new one and that one I'm trying to grow because it's my passion. I love health and fitness and I love trying to make it easier and more accessible for those with chronic illnesses. So now for a basic overview of discoid lupus. Of course, the comments are gonna have more information but I will share the basics. So discoid lupus is a different form of lupus and it has to do with the skin. So discoid lupus is when these rashes or plaques show up on the skin and they can appear scaly and red and um, just show up anywhere. I've heard it can be very painful and it can cause scarring. This is not always associated with SLE, but I did read that up to 16% of those with discoid eventually develop SLE. So they get the best of both worlds. I am so sorry. A big cause of it is photosensitivity. So any lupus patient, you really shouldn't go in the sun too much. It can cause lots of problems. And with discoid, it'll call, cause those lesions or plaques. Now, I'm not the expert. I told you guys this in the beginning. So if you want to share what treatments you're on, what has helped you, are there any even oils or anything you use that helps your skin and I know it's tough. I've seen all over social media there's tons of girls who have discoid and they share their story on there. In a sense I am lucky that you can't see my disease. You know I can only imagine how tough that is to have discoid and especially for those of you who have discoid along with SLE. That's all I have for this video so I want to hear your comments, I want to see what you have to say, and hopefully you'll help someone out. And thank you for watching! Okay, bye guys, see you next time!